Oh, hello there, and welcome to your regularly scheduled Ranger Liz hype. That is right, I am back today with hashtag all caps. I know I'm not very loud because I have a kid sleeping in the other room. All caps hype because, guys, today I am talking about something I am just. Should I use another one of these words I use all the time? Ridiculously excited. What am I ridiculously excited for? The reason you click the link, my friends, and that is Power Morphicon. It is coming up. It is only, oh, it's less than two months away. So guys, if you haven't gotten on your big plans yet, take a listen, take a watch, and hopefully I'm gonna get you sorted out a little bit. Power Morphicon is happening in Anaheim this year, so don't go thinking it's gonna be in Pasadena like previous ones. It is in Anaheim and with that comes a lot of travel information. So today in this video I'm actually going to start with saying as far as PMC hype goes and the build-up and everything to it I'm going to be doing a series of videos. So yay announcement I am going to be doing a PMC series to get you ready to go and also just give you tips in general If you're not going to power more for con, but maybe you're traveling for another con a lot of this information It can go to a lot of other different cons as well So hopefully regardless of where you're going if you're going to a convention, maybe you will find something a little bit helpful but for the sake of today's video, we are going to be talking about travel, lodging, admission, basically how to get there, where do you sleep during the night, how to get in the door, and how you can get that Lord Draken figure that so many people are asking about. Lord Draken is awesome, shattered grid, Mwah, I love it. And right now the only way to get a figure of that Lord Draken is at Power Morphicon because it's an exclusive. <sighs> I'm getting one. Are you getting one if you're going? I'm getting one. I'm getting a few because I don't know if you guys know this or not, but Power Morphicon happens smack dab between Ranger Week in Review episode 50. And then I have Power Morphicon and then the week after that is my channel's one year anniversary. Let's just say August is going to be a little crazy and there's probably going to be some giveaways and a dragon figure is probably going to be one of them. Because if I'm going to be celebrating, I want to do something big and right now there's going to be one of the biggest pieces of Ranger merch. Yeah, and I think I'm probably going to give one to you guys. So, keep that in mind. Where do we start? We're going to start with the word I said first. Wait, hello? Did I say hello? Wait, stop being silly. You don't have time. Travel. That is what we're gonna talk about first. John Wayne Airport. That is gonna be, it's call letters SNA. Now this just means I have to actually put it there. Good job, Liz. But it is gonna be your closest airport. Now I know LAX is the big one. LAX is right there. And so a lot of people will just naturally fly there because maybe you'll get the best rate. That's fine. Hey, big airport, sweet. I, I like, well, I just like airports in general. I hate flying. It's, it's a love-hate kind of relationship. I love traveling, but I hate flying with a passion. Uh, so if you also hate flying and you're dreading it, just know you are not alone. If it wasn't for the fact that I had to fly to get to PMC, I, would. I love travel, but I hate flying. I digress. Look at not just LAX, but look at John Wayne Airport. There's also, uh, I believe there's Long Beach Airport. There are a few airports near Anaheim, so take a look at all of them and see if maybe you can't find a better rate. I know for me, it was actually, it was cheaper to fly into John Wayne, which was the cheaper, uh, John Wayne, which was the closer and cheaper one for me to land in. I've heard people saying they're going in different other airports, because maybe saving $200 on a ticket will only yeah, maybe your cab's gonna cost you a hundred, but at the end of the day, you're still saving a hundred bucks. So find the deal that you like and find the deal that maybe not Google Flights tells you. The quick and dirty of that saying is, uh, if you go in and you wanna find the best flight, how to get somewhere, yeah, try, you can try Travelocity, you can try Expedia, try some of those. 
But if you're simply like, I really want to mess with the, the flight times and delays, I personally find Google Flight to be the best one out there. There's gonna be a lot of different sites and maybe you'll find a better deal somewhere else. Just be warned on booking and seeing what kind of booking fees and make sure there's no extra hangups. If you're, if you're finding a deal that's really too good to be true, it might actually be too good to be true. Just, just saying. Uh, oh, but Google Flights does not show things like uh, Southwest. Southwest Airlines doesn't appear on it. And there might be other low cost airlines that don't share their rates with a place like Google Flights. So best way I would do it is figure out what airport you're gonna fly out of and then just look at all of the airlines that can fly out of it. So, you know, Delta, United American, whatever, maybe like Alaskan Air or regardless, make sure that every airline that's listed on that airport is showing up in Google Maps because if they're not, there might be another place you need to check to find the best deal to get there. Also, time is money, friend, so do keep that in mind. Uh, if it's maybe only a few dollars, but being a, a 30 minute cab ride as opposed to an hour cab ride, that definitely is something you wanna take into account. <laughs> this is gonna be the thing, so you gotta get there and then you gotta get to your hotel room if you're staying. Now, what do your clothes go in? What do you take in the hotel room? Luggage. That's another cost that you want to think of because some places, Southwest, bags fly free. I'm taking two, I'm checking two bags. I have a laptop bag so I can try to be editing stuff while I'm traveling. And my personal item is my helmet. But yeah, yeah, my Gokai yellow helmet. However, some places are gonna charge you up to $50 for a bag, and that's not counting if it's oversized. Check every airline, check to see what their bag's policy is, and you might just find that the flight you thought was a little more expensive is actually cheaper in the long run. <sighs> I know I'm a huge hypocrite here, but don't pack more than you can carry. Oh, I'm gonna be telling myself this all the time. Liz, why did you pack more than you can carry? Because I need, I need my suit, guys, and I need cosplay, and I need fun stuff and now I'm looking up trunks because I don't this is a side tangent but if you don't know the uh go kaiser super mega four suits on the legs they have these giant I hope you like my ripped up jeans but they have these giant boot cuffs right and these stupid boot cuffs don't they don't fit in suitcases you can't smash them you can't remove them from things and they're just they're just really big. So now I'm looking at spending between 80 and $120 more just so I can make sure my suit gets back and forth to PMC in one piece. Oh, man, Patreon wins, seriously. It'll just end up staying on there in storage all the time, so it's, it's, not, it's not too bad, right? $120 is like cheaper than trying to buy a new pair of boots, sadly enough. All right. I digress, but uh, look into how many bags you can take and look at those sizes too. You might find that maybe you only have to check one bag or check no bags because you have one that fits as a carry-on and you can just fit everything in it. I, If you think you're going to get away out of this with just a carry-on though, you must not be buying anything. I swear one of my bags are going to be empty when I fly with it there and it's going to just come back full of stuff, i.e. Lord Dragons and... My husband's not watching this, it's fine. I'm gonna buy a lot of stuff. Let's move on to where are you going with all those bags? You're going to the hotel room and the hotel this year is Hotel Anaheim. Oh, oh, my session's gonna start. Start over, start over. I pulled them up here because if you go to the official Power Morphicon website, you can get the link to go to Hilton Anaheim. It's a Hilton Anaheim, I don't know what I said actually the first time but they do have blocks of rooms that are already set for you. I think the last time I mentioned this, they did not have ones for Monday or uh, for Sunday night, but those are all available again. Everything from, you know, one king bed at $179 per night all the way up to uh, $259 per night. If you're looking for a studio, um, you know, if you want, oh, you want a Disney view, do you want the balcony? I, I don't care, I just want a place to put my crap and sleep. Because I'm not really planning on being in my room. And that is a big thing you need to take into account on how much and how many people are gonna be in that room. Perhaps all you do is you set your crap down and you sleep. Well, if that's the case, perhaps you can stay with other people and save money. 
or uh, yeah, yeah, just just know what you want out of a room. I'm not getting one that has all the bells and whistles because I'm not going to be in it, and maybe you don't need quite all of that either. Paramorphicon has said that if you book through their special link, you will be getting a gift at it. Let me find, uh, or maybe not, because I, I already went off of it, but I think that you're going to get a special item if you book through their link. Slightly problematic because they just announced this and a lot of people have already booked their rooms. If you haven't yet, get on it, please. Uh, none of them are showing sold out yet, so I'm not rushing you and saying you have to do it right now. But I have, I this is on my thing. Look, they always announce Power Morphicon guests on Tuesday, and they haven't announced any for June yet. So I'm going to say between now and Tuesday, this is Wednesday, by the way, that I'm recording this. Um... On Tuesday, they will probably have the next set of guest announcements, and uh, I'm not really going to talk about guests in this video, but the closer it gets to the actual event, even bigger names are going to be announced. Those names that maybe we're still holding off, that see, maybe they wouldn't get a job that they would have to be on the other side of the country for, or in a different country, and they just can't fully commit to it yet. I mean, they're human. They don't want people to get their hopes up, and then, you know, they don't get to be there. So keep that in mind uh, yeah bigger names even bigger names I'm not gonna say there aren't big names now because there there are there's some people I really am excited to meet but even more names you guys know what I mean I'm just rambling at this point that is where you're gonna stay if you do not want to stay at the Hilton Anaheim I get you okay it's expensive it's more expensive than some of the other close by hotels you could get an Airbnb you could rent a house or an apartment for a few nights where you can actually stay with more than you know four or five people I've been to Disney before and we stayed in like a seven bedroom house you can fit a lot of people in one of those and it is very cheap there is a Disney by uh, nearby too, so if you you know get there early and you want to go to Disney for a day, <sighs> get your room, start checking it out, guys. A lot of stuff is already getting booked up or full. You do not want August seventeenth to run around and you don't uh, run by. And you know what? Just make sure you have a place to lay your head. We are already at about twelve minutes, and I haven't even talked about tickets yet got me a little longer episode today but this is this is all information so I hope you are enjoying it we're gonna just talk about tickets all right so you got your ticket to get to uh, Anaheim you got the place you're staying so you dropped off your luggage now you have to get your butt into the con and there are a few options not as many as there were when they first came out you know like last year but there are still definitely some options for you. So let's just go ahead and go to tickets. Now, as far as tickets are concerned, you can get uh, the three-day pass all the way down to a one-day pass. Get the ticket that you think you are going to need. They can get very expensive. They can also be pretty cheap. Looking at just say you wanted to show up uh, for one day, you want to show up Saturday only, it's only $30 to get in. Yes, that doesn't include any autographs or anything like that, but you can still get uh, into all of the panels. You can still meet, go up and meet the Rangers, talk to them, shake their hand. It's a, a really cool opportunity and you can meet other people. So you can get in the door on Saturday as cheap as $30. That's gonna be your Blue Ranger Pass. Let's get in, if you look at the actual, there is a chart on the Power Morphicon website if you would like to take a look at it. Uh, yellow is gonna be Sunday only, blue is gonna be Saturday only, and Red Ranger is going to be all three days. Keep in mind, Power Morphicon is Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. The only way to get in on Friday is to have the Red Ranger ticket. You can't just buy a Friday-only ticket. If you want to get in on Friday, you have to buy the three-day pass. And I, I really recommend it if you're going to be in there and you're on the fence. It's not too... But if you already want to go Saturday and Sunday, it's only an additional $20 to add it to be a three-day. And guys, it is very, very much worth it to get there on the floor um, the first day on a day that you can, I mean, I'm not gonna say it's like VIP time, but a lot less people are going to be there. Saturday's usually always your biggest, craziest days. If you can get in Friday and early, you might be able to take care of a handful of those autographs while the lines are still shorter. And, and guys, first dibs on merch, right? 
it's way too early to be drinking. It's, well, I mean, it's like 2.30. It's 5 o'clock somewhere, but it's a little too early for me. If you want to get a step up from that Red Ranger package, you could get the Silver Ranger package. That, again, is going to get you in for all three days. However, you're going to have an opportunity to buy more Draken figures. Yeah, Draken, that figure I was talking about. When you buy your ticket, you get an opportunity to purchase a Lord Draken figure. You do not get the Lord Draken figure with your ticket. You still have to buy it, and they're expensive. They are $50 a piece. This is a convention exclusive. Think of all the other con exclusive things. Con exclusives are expensive. This was a limited run of a, in my a very popular character. So if you want to get the opportunity to buy more Lord Drakens, you might want to get the Silver Ranger one. With your ticket, you're going to be getting, uh, with every ticket, you get your program. You'll get a cloth bag as supplies last. You'll also be getting a convention pin. And, <coughs> excuse me, when you start adding on to Silver Ranger and above, you start adding on things more like the silver print. You'll start adding on the silver coin. Things like that that will get added on. If you had gotten gold or platinum, let's say if you got gold, you would get the gold ranger stuff, silver ranger stuff, uh, red ranger stuff. You guys know what I mean. As you pay more, more things get added on. If you had gotten the platinum, that is completely sold out. It was $300, but that's where you get a lot of stuff. Friday, meet and greet, etc. Gold ranger is also completely sold out. Those are the more expensive ones. You would get a lot more things such as t-shirts, hoodies, more coins, more pins, and of course, with platinum and gold, you had the opportunity to purchase tickets for the VIP, or no, so you get in, you get into the VIP event, and you have an option to purchase the power breakfast tickets. Fortunately, all of those tickets are sold out, so I'm not going to ramble too long about them. If you were interested in the perks, though, and you cannot go, all of them do have non-attending options. Well, I think like Yellow Ranger doesn't because it's a Sunday one, but you just get the Saturday one. But if you can't go, you can get a non-attending pass, which means you can still buy Lord Drakens, you can still get the convention swag, and just after the convention's over, they just box it all up and they mail it to you. So if you do want the information, or I'm sorry, if you do want the stuff and you can't go, you still can do it, but it's going to be an additional cost. I think for some of them, uh, I think all of them, platinum and gold, if, if you do want the hoodies, if you want everything, you can get the non-attending for those, and you can still get, with platinum, you can get what, up to 10 Lord Draken figures. Buy all that, it's $500 for the figures. <laughs> so sometimes, you know, math is slow to work in my head. But you can get all of it shipped to you. I think for some of them, like the VIP meet and greet, since you can't ship a VIP meet and greet, I want to say you get things like maybe some glossy prints, uh, autographs, things like that, that they'll throw them in there for you as a I don't know, kind of make up for the fact that you don't get to go to it. But there's a lot of different tickets to choose from, guys, and I want to make sure you get the one that's right for you. It, red is $70. Again, they get you in every day. If you want to pay that additional $40 to move up to silver, you do get the silver convention print, the silver convention coin. I'm sorry, actually, if you get just the one day, you do not get a convention coin. I apologize. I will just... It's on the chart. Check out the chart. I am so hyped. I'm going to do this right now. I'm going to be doing this. How many days till August... 17th. I leave on the 16th actually, but August 17th is when it starts. That's 58 days away, guys. 58 days! I hope you are just ridiculously excited like this, like I am. Drop me a comment below. Are you going to PMC? Uh, are you not going to PMC? You're like, hey, but can you cover whatever? I'm just so excited to be able to go and to bring this and share all of this with you. It's been, um, Ever since the first PMC, uh, you know, when I when I heard about the first one, and it really has been a lifetime dream of mine to go, and I am I'm so excited and I'm so grateful, and I'm really hoping that I can help out everyone as I was helped out over the years. When I didn't get to go, I lived through them, and hopefully I will be able to take you guys along with me. Man, we're gonna have some fun. I spent last night measuring carry-ons. All right. 
this is great. I am hyped. I hope you are too, guys. Thank you for sticking around to the end of the video, and I hope that you found this helpful. If you did find it helpful and you wanted to help me in my Power Ranger journey to get there, I've never mentioned it before, but I did actually set up a coffee account, and I do have a Streamlabs account, so if you ever felt like sending me anything to help maybe get me a coffee while I am in California to help keep me hyped, the link is below, but, you know, a simple hi at PMC or a hi on here is really all I need. Thank you so much for watching, guys. My name is Ranger Liz, and the next video that we're going to be doing in this series, I'm not 100% sure yet. It might be the guests. It might be talking about packing. It might be talking about floor plans. It might be talking about schedules. Let me know what you want to hear next, and we'll see how it goes. But, but... This was really long and rambly, so I'm gonna go now. This is Ranger Liz. Toodles!